Welcome to Guatemala. How are you? Um, really good. Enjoying this place a lot. They're very nice people. Wow. It's incredible to see. Every place in the world now is really up in technology, too. I don't know enough about the situation here. I don't know how to say whether I think it's right or it's wrong. We pay taxes on almost everything. And so the amount of taxes, is it, is it justified or not? I wish we had a system with no taxes at all. I guess if we just, if we have uh, had some kind of artificial money and it couldn't be recreated by governments, someday something like Bitcoin could, could maybe solve some of the problems. But no, there's always going to be taxes and death. Innovation in the areas of technology, internet, mobile technology, is going to be the future of economic growth everywhere in the world. Steve Jobs is, is an idol, so we don't have a live idol, a god anymore. A lot of great products came out under his direction. He's given credit by people for almost La everything that came out of Apple that was good. It's not necessarily really like that. Apple has been Apple growing since Steve Jobs' departure. Desde que Steve Jobs We've introduced many major Hemos products, such as larger screen cell phones. For several years, we didn't give any competition to companies like Samsung. It was an Apple dogma. And I believe it was because Steve, Steve Jobs himself felt his way of designing a phone, his size was the right size. So it could be argued some of the decisions might have been poor marketing decisions from the past. I feel better about where the software is going makes a bigger difference. All the companies today acknowledge that smartphones are the key to the marketplace. And I do not believe that very many people select their smartphone platform based on features that you can add. We're past that point. People don't compare how many megapixels the camera is to decide which smartphone to buy. The biggest thing that Apple has to do is make everything work easily, well, and reliably. Even when we talk phrases in starting a company about how someday everyone would have a personal computer of their own, we've had no idea of how far it would go, how they would be used, how they would change life. I did give away the Apple One computer, but it was a quick project for a club to show what a personal computer should be. It gave the world the right formula. But the Apple II was a great product that I designed as a product. That one was not given away. That was protected. Steve and I knew how important that would be. We didn't have any ideas that come close to how computers wound up being used, for example, in business, we had no idea the internet would come. We had no idea that um, products would become mobile, battery operated. We didn't even know that cell phones were gonna come. So we adapted to the changing technologies throughout time. And we could always see what the next step must be. Steve was one of the best futurists and visionaries. He looked a little further into the future than almost anyone else. And he also had a good ideas of what strategies that could get us there.